you're with us today. Uh, today we're going to be worshiping Jesus because he is the Lamb of God. When we say that Jesus is the Lamb of God, we mean that Jesus gave his life so that we could be saved. Let's sing about the salvation that God gives those who believe in him. You're my strength when I am weak. You're the treasure that I seek. You're my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel, or to give up I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. The Bible uses many word pictures to help us understand who Jesus is. Saying that Jesus is the Lamb of God means that Jesus takes away all of our sins. In the Bible, in the book of John, Jesus says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. Let's sing about that. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus can give us all a new life. Because Jesus died for our sins, we can live with him in heaven forever if we believe in him. Let's praise Jesus, the Lamb of God, as we sing, Lamb of God. Your only Son, no sin to hide, but you have sent from your side to walk upon this guilty sod and to become the Lamb of God. O Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the Holy Lamb of God. O wash me in His precious blood, my Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. What does it mean to give God glory? To give God glory means to give him praise, attention, and honor. The Bible tells us that the angels in heaven give glory to the Lamb. Let's listen to what the angels say to Jesus in Revelation 5, verses 11 and 12. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels, numbering thousands upon thousands, and ten thousand times ten thousand. They encircled the throne and the living creatures and the elders. In a loud voice they were saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise. Verse 13 says, Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne... And to the Lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. The Bible tells us that we will all praise the Lamb of God. Let's now sing, To God Be the Glory, and continue to give our glory to the Lamb. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us his Son, who yielded his life an atonement for sin, and opened the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, 
Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he has done. Because of the sacrifice that Jesus made, God has honored him with the highest place. Have you ever won an award? Maybe a ribbon, a medal, or a trophy? How did it feel when you won that recognition? Jesus has received the highest award because of his sacrifice. God has given him a name that is above every name. Let's think about some of Jesus' names. Jesus, name above all names, beautiful Savior, glorious Lord, Emmanuel, God is with us, blessed Redeemer, living Word. Jesus, name above all names, beautiful Savior, glorious world, Emmanuel, God is with us, bless living word. You are very special to God. God created you. In fact, you are so special that God sent his only son, Jesus, to take the punishment for your sins. Instead of punishments, Jesus wants to give you rest and peace when you come to him. Jesus became the Lamb of God for you because only Jesus was without sin. You are so special that Jesus was willing to die for you. We thank God today because of his forever and ever praises. Thank you, Lord, for loving me, and thank you, Lord, for blessing me. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole and saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Let us all in one accord sing praises to Christ the Lord. Let us all unite in song to praise him all day long. Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. As we finish today, let's go to God in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for giving your only begotten Son the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. We worship you today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We hope that you are all enjoying our time together each week. We enjoy doing this for you all. I hope that we'll be able to see all of you again soon. Please stay safe and healthy this week. Theo and Matthew are coming up next, and Miss Amy will follow right after this week's, with this week's craft. We'll see you all next week. Goodbye. Oh boy, am I mad at Becky Beagle. She got me into big trouble. Now I can't have snacks for two whole days. What happened, Theo? Becky ate all the gingerbread squirrels in the cookie jar. Becky ate all the squirrels? Huh, that doesn't sound like her. How did you get into trouble? She 
told my mom I ate them. All I did was lick the frosting off of them. Hmm, and you're angry because you're having to take the punishment that Becky deserves? You bet I am. It sure makes me so mad. I think my head's gonna explode. Well, I've got a story that I think will make you feel a little better. Did you know that Jesus was in the same situation that you're in now? Did one of his disciples eat all the gingerbread squirrels too? Not exactly, but Jesus did take the punishment that other people deserved. In fact, Jesus took the punishment for the sins of the whole world. Wowzer, that's a lot of sins. Why did he do it? Did it make him as mad as people as I am at Becky? No, it didn't make him mad. Jesus was glad to take the punishment for us because he loves us so much. In fact, it was the only way for us to be forgiven for our sins. We give Jesus a special name to explain that he came to take punishment for our sins. We do? What do we call him? Have you ever heard Jesus called the Lamb of the World? Yeah, I always wondered why. Thinking of Jesus as a lamb seems kind of silly. I mean, he was all-powerful and wonderful. How could he be like a little lamb? It means that Jesus was as perfect and innocent as a baby lamb. It means that Jesus was precious and special. And it means that God planned that Jesus would die on the cross so that he can forgive us for our sins. That's important. That's important for sure. I'd feel terrible if my sins weren't forgiven. Wish I could write Jesus a thank you note. You can tell him in person. And you really think he'll hear me? Do you want to thank him right now? You can kneel down, place your hands together like this, and say thank you, Jesus, for being the Lamb of the world. Thank you, Jesus, for being the Lamb of the world. Don't want you to know about this. Chris heard from Matthew Anderson and two computer engineers. They found a way to boost Wi-Fi signals instantly. They both work for a large internet provider. That's where they discovered a dirty secret. Internet providers are deliberately slowing down your connection. By analyzing your internet data usage, and slowing internet speed and bandwidth to increase hours.
Hello, it's Miss Amy, and I'm here today with our craft video. Today we learned about how Jesus called Peter and Andrew to be his disciples, and um, Andrew brought Peter to the Lord, and Andrew said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, and so we are going to make a lamb. In your craft bag, you should have a piece of black construction paper. You should have some cotton balls. And you should have two wiggly eyes. I've got a whole bunch here, but you'll just have two. At home, you're going to need, <clears throat> I got a white twistable um, colored pencil, but you can also use, um, let's see, a white marker or a silver marker or something else. Um, you'll, you're gonna need glue and you're going to need scissors. Okay. So what we're gonna do right now is, I've already drawn my hand, you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna trace it on the black construction paper, right, black construction paper. But what you gotta to remember to do is we're gonna make a lamb out of this. So your, your thumb is gonna be all the way out and your fingers are gonna be down. And this is so that you do the feet of the lamb and this is the head of the lamb, okay? I've already done it and I'm gonna cut mine out real quick so I can make my lamb. Actually, before I cut it out, you know what might be a good idea to do, and this is for all the parents at home, is you have to glue um, these cotton balls onto your lamb. Now, if you get a whole, I just have a whole bag, because this is what I had at home, but I'm, not, I'm sure you're not gonna get a whole bag of cotton balls in your craft bag. So if you only get like four or five cotton balls, and it doesn't cover up your whole hand, now your hand's gonna be smaller than mine, um, but you can stretch them out. They will glue better if you stretch them out just a little bit and they'll still be puffy. All right, so I am now, I'm gonna glue it first and then I'm gonna cut it out. Okay, so I'm going to use my glue here. Hopefully it will come out. Um, I'm, I don't have good luck with glue when I'm doing the craft videos. And we'll see. I may have to grab another thing of glue here. I'll get another one going just in case because you know sometimes glue it's like ketchup, it doesn't always want to come out. All right, who's gonna be first? Let's have a little race here. Ooh, we may have to pause, we'll see. Because nothing's coming out of anything. I'm gonna just pull the lid. There's a little bit of a dry glue on the end of this. I'm gonna pull it out, there we go. Uh-huh. Now, remember what we say when we do glue, especially if you're in preschool, we say dot, dot, not a lot, all right? You don't want just a whole bunch. Now, if you do get a whole bunch, grab a little pen, a little um, brush, like a little paint brush, and brush it out and make it flat. That way you don't have globs of glue in one place and no glue in another, all right? Make sure you leave a little bit on the bottom of your hand so that we can see the lamb's feet, okay? But it is important, and you've gotta leave a little bit on the actual thumb so we can put his googly eyes on him. I don't know why I have to say googly eyes like that, sort of silly. All right, but you know Miss Amy. All right, so I'm dot dotting, not a lot in here. Sometimes I think my not a lot isn't enough. All right, almost done. There we go, we'll use that much. So you can see here, I have left a little bit on the thumb and I've left a little bit of black on the fingers, so that will be my feet and the head. And then I'm gonna take my stretched out cotton balls and I'm just gonna stick them on there. And then you have to wait, once it's done, a little bit, not a whole big long time, but a little bit till it's dried. So it'll stay, so the cotton balls stay on there. You don't wanna pick up your craft and start to cut it out and then find out that all of your cotton balls fall off, okay? Um, but hopefully, the best part about cotton balls and glue is the cotton balls really soak up a lot of that glue and they stay stuck even though maybe you didn't take that long. Maybe you don't have to have it dry the whole time. I've only got a few more here to do and I will be done. Hopefully you're gluing yours on too, making your little lamb. Oops, I pulled that one too hard. It almost came off completely. All right, there's some puffy, puffy, Puffy little lamb. Gonna make a little on his neck here. 
and stretch it out just a little bit. There we go. All right. Oops, I got some on my fingers. Oops, that doesn't want to come off. Okay, so here's my lamb. I've got all of the, the cotton balls on there. And I'm going to cut out the lamb now. So he has a face and a head. Don't cut your cotton balls. That wouldn't be good. And there's a finger or a, a leg, I should say. And there's a leg. And here's a leg. And last the leg, not last but not least. All right. And then all the way up. All right. So I'm going to cut this part off right here because that lamb, I don't want my lamb to have uh, a big back right there. All right. So there's my lamb. And now this is his head. So I'm going to put some googly eyes on that. I got to get my glue going again. And I got to find my googly eyes. But once you get your googly eyes, um, what you're going to do is you're going to put them on there. I have two right here. One, two, and I'm going to dot, remember dot, dot, not a lot, we're still doing that. Come on. And I'm going to put mine down just a little bit closer to where the mouth would normally be. And this is because, I'm going to open it up a little bit more, there we go. Um, I actually want to put some up here. If you have a little bit extra when it comes to your cotton balls, it might be fun to put a little poof on top of your lamb's head. All right, so if you've got a little bit of cotton left, uh oh, now it's stuck to my finger. There we go. Um, you could put a little poof on your little lamb's head. There we go. There is your lamb this week for the lamb of God. And he's got googly eyes, googly, googly, and he's got a little puff, poofy, 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 and he's soft. All right, boys and girls, I will see you next week. Thank you.